Hi, I'm Buck Moore. Welcome to the House Coach Chef. Some of you might think, well, stop thinking this is just a household cooking show. I'm going to teach you how to make a pizza, which is very easy. It's based on a naan bread crust with chicken, leeks, olives, and cheese. You might choose to use like a mozzarella cheese or an Asiago cheese or whatever flavor of cheese you want, whatever kind of combination of cheese you want. The only other ingredient is the olive oil, which is just like two and a half to three teaspoons full, depending on how much pizza you're going to make. I'll show you how easy this is to make and how quick you can make it for guests. You make a personal size pizza for everybody, or you just have a bunch of uh, you know hors d'oeuvres for people when you cut it into fours or sixes or something like that. Here we go. And of course, the first thing I do is cut the very, like the, the most of the green stuff off of the leeks and cut the front of it off. And then take the top layer of, of skin off as well because there's very often there's a lot of dirt hanging out inside that first layer. And then once I cut the leeks into medallion sized pieces, I rinse the bowl and make sure they're all rinsed out so I don't get the gritty dirt in there. And that's about the amount of leeks I need for a few pizzas here. Then I'll take some chicken, remove the skin and the fat. Now this chicken has been pre-cooked or pre-baked in the oven, and that way a lot of fat drips off, and it becomes very flavorful because chicken become, can become very bland if you don't do something to it. So in the fridge overnight, it's very easy to separate the skin, the fat, and of course to tear it into chunks. I'll tear it into chunks or strips or a combination of both, so I get a lot of... Uh, surface area for the cheese and all the rest of the flavor of the olives to sink into as well. There's our ingredients. The leeks, olives, chicken strips, cheese, and olive oil. Start with putting the leeks in a stainless steel pan or pot and start sauteing them just before they, they get caramelized, I'll add the chicken in and mix all that stuff together. And I'll cook it maybe three to five minutes, depending on how like hot the pan is. I'll usually use maybe a medium heat, maybe you know six or seven on my uh, burner. And that's what the uh, cooked result is. And then I'll put some pepper on. I like to coat it in black pepper. I actually like the look of it as well as the taste of it. So I end up putting quite a bit of pepper on my mixture. You don't have to put as much pepper, it's totally up to you. I wouldn't add any salt because the olives are already pretty salty and you don't want to over salt the thing. Plus the olives already add a lot of flavor to this when you combine it with the leeks and the cheese. Put a little more pepper in there for flavor so it's evenly coated. And then I'll add the olives and I actually also add a little bit of olive juice just to keep the whole mixture from drying out during the cooking process. Mix it all together before I add the cheese. Then I'll put the cheese in. And I use a mozzarella, asiago, even provolone will work. Any of the nice white cheeses. Each one of them has their own unique flavor. Then I'll turn the heat off almost right away because there's enough heat in there to melt the cheese and to coat everything pretty evenly. And I don't want to burn the cheese at all. It's all about just melting it. So timing is crucial here. Now it's time to prep the naan bread. So I bought naan bread pieces from the store. I put some uh, parchment paper rather than tin foil. I usually cook in parchment. You can cook up to 400 or 425. You know, if you read the box of the parchment paper, it'll say what degrees you can cook it up to. But I'm only cooking at like 350 here. First thing I'm gonna do is prep my naan bread by putting a sprinkle of water evenly over the top, just so it glistens. I don't wanna soak it, I just wanna sprinkle it over top. Stick it in the oven for maybe four minutes. For some reason, four minutes seems to be the, the ideal time for me. Take it out, and now it's ready to put the toppings on. And you don't have to put any olive oil or anything to, to prepare it like as a base on the naan bread. You just put the ingredients on because there's already enough juiciness and flavor and cheesy stuff on there. So 
And don't worry about doing any extra steps. This is actually pretty easy. If you have about, maybe prepare about 10 of these or so, or maybe even five, you can get maybe four to six pieces out of each one of them. So I spread the mixture evenly over the top. Stick it in the oven for a few more minutes, maybe five to seven minutes at 350. Same temperature as I prepared the naan bread. So you don't have to worry about changing temperatures. This is very easy. Take it out. Looks good. Cheese may be just a little brown. That's the sign that it's ready. Maybe just not quite brown. And then split it into four pieces, six pieces, or whatever size you want your hors d'oeuvres to be. Hi, welcome back. So um, from earlier, the chicken pieces that I was cutting up, I was uh, taking off the skin and putting it in this container here. And I want to show you a quick, easy recipe with the chicken leftovers. First of all, you put a bit of olive oil in it, a tiny bit of beer, the light lager beer, which goes great with the pizza, by the way. And you mix it all together, and you drink it. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't drink it. That's disgusting. Oh, I can't believe I even said that. Anyway, so I'm just going to throw this stuff out, but I hope you enjoyed the recipe, and join me next time for a very simple, cheap, and quick recipe for you and your guests. All right.